Oh my god, where are all these Gravitino balls? I guess I'm just gonna take these. Oh my god, they're sending reinforcements, y'all. How did I get into this mess? Oh god, elite sentinel force is coming, you guys. I wasn't prepared for this! Okay, so hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are doing the penultimate part of the quest, of the main story quest. And right now we're headed to the source of a distress signal that we found when we were talking to Apollo at the Hollow Terminus. We're also confused because me and Apollo apparently are in the same place, but we're actually not. So it's kind of a mystery. A little bit of a spook going on here. I feel like we are going over here. So I'm going to go over here. <laughs> okay, let's see. No, 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 no. We don't need this. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Please, please. We've done this already. We're good. We're actually all good. Please don't hurt me. Oh my God, we have to run so far away. What a disaster. Oh my God, not the gra more, more Gravitino balls, you guys. I'm actually extremely stressed and we literally just got started. Okay, we're getting close. Oh my God, there's another one. There's freaking another one. No, 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 no. No, stop it. Stop it. You don't need to. You actually don't need to. I'm running away from you. I'm running away. I'm not a threat. I'm actually not a threat. No stress, my dude. No stress. Oh, here we are. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, open the beacon to access the broadcast. It's like when we first started. I hear a faint sound as I examine the source of the distress beacon. It does not sound like anything I've ever encountered. Okay. There is no sign of Apollo. Let's play back the log. I have given so much to you, Atlas. We all have. You understand that, don't you? If you don't succeed, there was no point. If you don't, my life was meaningless. I can't accept that. I won't. That sounds like something Noel would say. Can I just say? He was like super butthurt that like the Atlas only wanted to talk to me now. Sorry, kid. Get good. I'm wiping you again. It's best for everyone. The audio clicks. Time passes. Play back the log again. Don't be like this. I know you don't want this, but you'll be a different you soon. Maybe this time. The sound cuts out. As it does, my vision bleeds red. A headache splitting through my mind. The screen. It shows the number for a moment. It shows 16. I try to access the data. The audio clicks. Time passes. And then? I see it now. With every waking breath, I see the Atlas watching me, waiting for me. So it seems like the travelers just be out here resetting the Atlas over and over again. Seek the Atlas. Oh. Ley line source. Okay, where's my ship? Can we just like bring it here? Gateway detected. Portal ley line. Okay, it sounds like we're going to a portal. I think that me and Apollo are in different instances of universes. Like I think technically we are in the same place, but I think we're in different universes. And so that's why we can't see each other. Anyone see a portal around these parts? This looks like a portal. All right, here we go. If this sentinel decides to attack me right now, I'm we're gonna have a problem, okay? Okay, here's the portal. Okay, we have to charge the glyphs. This is gonna take a second. I think I have enough stuff to charge them all. Also, I made myself a bunch of life support gels because I was looking up this quest online before I started playing and it was like, you're gonna want life support gels, so we've got some. Okay, we've charged them all. Traveler anomaly confirmed. Breach, breach, breach. I approached the portal. I think of my travel so far, the decisions I have made on my journey. I found two travelers, one who wanted to meet others of their kind and one who just seemed to care about their own life. Apollo walked through the portal and survived, though we could not find each other. And Artemis, I allowed Artemis to die rather than place their soul within a simulation. I would not wish such a fate on any being. I do not know if it was right to do what I did. I do not know what I have become as a result of my actions. The Atlas awaits me. Should I choose to step through? Yes, we're doing it. Here we go. Spooky. Yeah, this is actually so much. I feel incredibly stressed. All right, we're entering the portal, guys. We're going in. We're going in. It sounds like we're going to talk to the Atlas again. I don't know if I'm like mentally prepared for that, actually. The Atlas was kind of scary. Where are we gonna end up? All right, we're about to find- Oh, we're just falling through space. We're falling through space.
Ja. Yeah, it, we have to just keep like recharging this until we're back. Okay, that's why we made the life support gels. Atlas protocol initiated. There's a lot of 16s going on in front of me. I've learned the Atlas word for thee. Hello, Atlas. What's up, my dude? Are you gonna give me warp cells again? That's so nice of you, thank you. Hello, Atlas. Hello, world. It is the same terminal I faced before. It is the interface of the Atlas. Demand an audience. No, I'm just gonna say hello. An audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface. They said you've been displaying aberrant behavior, that you've been questioning things, raising issues of purpose, of ethics, that you wish to meet your creator. Well, here I am. I am Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. The interface grows still and silent. Initiate personality interface, or do we wipe the system? No, I want the personality. I want it all. Reality fades, everything does. Something is wrong, something is different. Scream. No, screaming is it. We're doing the same thing we did last time, because you know what? I'm still screaming. The Atlas is spooky. The Atlas shows me the Gek, the Korvax, the Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant. All of those who had ever lived, it shows me the pattern, the design. The Atlas shows me a formula for a soul. I put it, if I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a cracked screen. I see the whole of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. We're still gonna scream. We're screaming again. The Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know. And no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. We're gonna say, yeah, this one, where we say both. The universe is a simulation and nothing is real. I feel defiance. I'm gonna fight the Atlas. <laughs> I think of how the Korvax altered the minds of the Gek, how they forced them to become good. I think of Nada's machine, how I felt towards the simulation. I feel, I feel I am not myself. I cannot accept this fate, I will not. This, all of this, it was supposed to be my birthright, my journey across the stars, my travels, my conquest of all I could see. No, I am real, I know I am, even if everything else is false. In the end, it finally speaks. Traveler. Did my words please you? I mean, no, not really, Atlas, if I'm being honest. What do you think you are? I think I'm a traveler. You are an explorer of all I have created. Do you believe that you are real? Yes. I exist. How are you capable of belief if you are not real? I'm like literally over here having like an existential crisis, you guys, like actually though. I will let you die right now if you wish it. Do you wish it? N no, I don't wanna die, what do you mean? The Gek were traitors defined by greed. The Viking were warriors defined by anger. The Korvax were scientists defined by curiosity. The worlds were yours. I wanted to, I wanted to see what you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what you all would become. We're receiving, it's judgment day. You allowed Iteration Artemis to complete their death process, preferring to wipe them from existence than to force them into a simulation. Apollo followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. You are merciful, you interfere, you have the potential for good and evil. Because of you, both live. Okay, we're accepting that. The Atlas is silent in the face of my response. It does not require acceptance or refusal. If I am a simulated being, then I am not even sure that I am distinct from the Atlas, from anything else. I fear I am just code, a function dancing in the dark. It is over, Traveler. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. 16. Catastrophic system failure. Alert, alert, 16, 16. What am I seeing? 16, we're just gonna keep saying 16. 16 minutes of operational time remaining. Fragmentation imminent. Data upload in. What is this place? Is it real? I... Is this the Atlas talking? He's like trying to figure it out. 16 again. Extreme gravitational event. Backup generators. Failing. Data upload. It is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out to me, afraid. I'm gonna cry out afraid as well. I see it. I see the Atlas in all its might, its final interface. It is at the heart of every galaxy, screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die, but it has so few tools and it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes? Minutes? Seconds? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if... Let's cry out. We're crying out. What? What is happening to... Oh my god, what is going on? What is happening? What is going on? I am so confused and concerned. 
I have fear. I have confusion. I have a lot of feelings. Um, I kind of feel bad for the Atlas. Who is hurting the Atlas? Is it us? Are we hurting the Atlas? Are we the drama? Okay, where are we? Where are we? What is happening? Storm clearing. Okay, my ship's over here. I think I need to go this way. Locate your starship. Working on it. There she is. Blueberry dreamsicle. In all her glory, she's crashed into the ground again. She seems to be damaged. I clamber into the safety of my ship, nauseous, calmed. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. Yeah, let's just get it over, Will. Let's just, let's just vomit. <laughs> I almost throw up, but as I am about to do so, a voice speaks to me from my exosuite. My illness disappears. Disgust, fear, panic response detected. Countermeasure deployed. Purge. Neutralized. It is the voice of my exosuit telling me that it has rescued me. It has been with me since my very first awakening, warning me of hazardous conditions, hostile entities, and financial transactions. In a strange sense, this is the voice of my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. Let's ask if it knows any jokes. The exosuit doesn't answer, of course. It keeps itself zipped. I don't think I've ever made a joke before. I was born with the capacity to do so many things. I would have liked to live longer if I could have. My brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. The multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. Okay, we're taking flight. Oh, we have to fix our launch thruster. Hold on. Okay, we're fixed. We need to find a hollow terminus. All right, it's over here. We're actually very close to it, conveniently. That's usually not the case, so it's kind of exciting. Oh, here it is. Who are, even are we gonna talk to? Artemis is dead. I guess we'll talk to Apollo. I don't know if I wanna tell Noel. I kind of like, me and Noel are like not on good terms. I don't really know why, but like, I just get bad vibes from Noel. Noel is like annoyed because the Atlas like chose me. Because I'm pretty sure Noel just, like, was mad because he, like, explored the entire uni his entire uh, universe. And then the Atlas was like, huh, loser. There's, like, so many more. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Network failure. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. We're attempting to broadcast. I warn the travelers of what I've learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. It is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. And after millennia of operation, the Atlas is coming to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails. Though we cannot know how much time we have left within the simulation, the time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finish my message, not know if anyone will hear it. I look out across this world, wondering how much might be left to discover and how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the center of this galaxy. It is the epicenter of the glitch. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will confront our creator. I will find out what happens next. Okay, so we're going to the center of the galaxy. I guess we probably just need to go into like the galaxy map, see where we can go. Oh, it's so red here. I don't even know where we are right now, you guys. I have no idea. Oh, and then we also should grab the space anomaly really quick so we can talk to Nada. Wherever we go, the space anomaly follows. It's kind of beautiful, honestly. Okay, let's just casually go tell Nada that like the universe is ending. The multiverse is ending, actually. <laughs> Not even just the universe, which is actually even worse than we thought. I'm just not gonna tell all these other people on the anomaly. They're just gonna have to figure it out for themselves. Hi, not I don't bring good news, my man. You know now, don't you, of our simulated nature of the end. The Atlas, it is failing. It resets itself again and again and again in its panic, trying to purge what it sees as an anomaly. But each purge changes nothing. The boundaries continue to fall. Atlas will die in 16, but we do not have to go so soon. It does not need to delete us in fear. How many times has this happened? I do not know. I do not think we can know. Some things are external to the cycle. All must end. Time must end. Even here, Nada and Polo cannot escape reality fall. Data cannot survive. Make peace. Find happiness. Be who you want to be. Goodbye, companions. Goodbye, stars. I will remember. Let's ask what they're going to do. Nada and Polo will continue travels. Continue acting as we always have. Okay. Back into space we go. Nada's just like, yeah, it's fine. We'll just chill. We'll just be here. Okay, wants to reach the center of the galaxy. The Atlas is dying. It wants me to reset it, to plunge myself through its interface at the center of the galaxy. But to do so may reset this world, my life, all that I know. I do not know if I can do it. I think we should seek the final interface. I don't really know what choice I've made here, but I think we just need to go to the galaxy map. Galactic core. 
Oh, of course my hyperdrive has no fuel. That is really unfortunate. Lucky for me, I have warp cells. Okay, we're going. I think we have to jump 16 times if I remember correctly. So we're just about to be jumping around. Data injection, sequence received, source unknown. What does that mean? Okay, we got, we're getting glyphs. We just have to keep going, I think. We just, we're just jumping around. Next stop, this place. So like, I think we just get a glyph every single time, every jump, and we have to jump 16 times. So be prepared. We actually already have five glyphs though. I wonder if it'll make us do all 16 jumps even after we get all the glyphs. It probably will, let's be honest. Okay, all right. Excellent, there it goes. We got another one. On to the next. Well, this planet's extremely large. Oh, Apollo is messaging me. Well, I got your message. It's been a lot to take in. A simulation? Everything's not real? It feels like it doesn't matter, I suppose. Not if we're gonna die anyway. I've been thinking about that. If the problems of this universe are due to the Atlas crying for help, then it's been crying for a long time. Those 16 minutes, I'll bet we have years before we die. Let's ask what they plan to do. I've been thinking a lot about it. How we couldn't meet, even though we seemed to be standing in the same place. I don't think we really were in the same location at all. I think those portals, they don't transport us, they transform us. They cut through dimensions, that's what I think anyway. It's the only way to explain it. And if the walls between worlds really are falling, maybe we'll be able to have a drink together before the apocalypse after all. Fair enough. I say goodbye, telling Apollo that I'm on a journey to the center. They tell me that they will race me there. We speak of the memories they have shared, though we did not know each other for very long, though we did not meet. They say they are proud to have worked with me. Thanks, Apollo. You're so sweet. You're so nice. Okay. We're zooming off again. I don't even know how many we've done. Like two? <laughs> it doesn't help that it takes like 30 years to load every single time. Whoa, is that an Earth-like planet? Hold on. Should we check this one out? Oh no, it's not. It's a gamma intensive planet. Okay, we have eight of 16. That was our fourth jump. Zoom, zoom. All right, we've arrived, we've arrived. What if we did find an Earth though? Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be exciting? Well, this one's like extremely blue. Keep on keeping on. All right, okay, all right. Anything extra special in this place? Six of 16. We're looking for the Atlas sequence. This galaxy is called Linens. <laughs> How fun. Wow, there's actually a lot of asteroids right here. Oh my god. Okay, this looks just desolate as heck. Oh, it's literally called a desolate planet. That's amazing. Seven of 16. I'm just being aggressive about it now. I'm just running, warping for dear life. We're doing flips. Eight of 16. People were halfway there. Get excited. We are halfway there. Oh my god, hyperdrive has no fuel. Hold on. Now we're off. It really feels like we're nowhere near the galactic core. I'm just gonna say it. Ooh, look at this fun planet. It's like red and blue. That's kind of, that's kind of exciting. Oh, Nola's messaging us now. You can't go to the center. You can't do this to us. You can't leave us. Insist I am going. No, you can't do this to us. You can't. The center, the center of each galaxy. It's the Atlas. It's all else just interfaces, all else a shadow of its might. You, you don't deserve it. You'll wipe us all. Ask how they know. I did what I had to do, I told you that. I couldn't die without seeing everything there was to see. I did what I had to do, but the Atlas, it won't let me back in, it won't speak to me. Ask what Noel did. Explain yourself, Noel. I've committed such atrocities, Traveler. I had to, it was me or them. It's always been me or them. Please, if you go to the center, if you do what I did, it will reset everything, it will replace me, wipe me. All those souls, they'll have died for nothing. It was the only way to live on. You have to understand me. Life for more life, they sustained me. It can't have all been for nothing. I was going to see it all. Say goodbye. I say goodbye. As Null screams at me to reconsider, I end the communication. There is nothing left but the path towards the center. Okay, sorry, but I have to scan this planet. Okay, wait, we're going over here. It's a paradise planet. I think we should just like check it out really quick. It's called New Tat Head. That's cool. I love that. Amazing. I kind of feel like I've made the wrong decision because I kind of, I don't know how I feel about like deleting everyone, you know what I mean? Is that really me? Okay, sorry, we just like have to check out this planet really quick so I know where it is. Oh, it's so mountainous. Don't love that. It's so fun here. New tad head. Oh look, there's like an ocean down here. I love it. All right, anyways, back to business. Back to business. Okay, we are searching for the galaxy's core. Yeah, I kind of feel like I don't know 
if this is the right decision because <laughs> like the thing is I just like made friends with these people and now I'm just like no I'm literally erasing you to save myself like I don't know if that is um me per se I don't know if that's like my personality so do I have regrets a little yeah but I think I think I have committed now so I don't I don't think there's anything else I can do at this point <laughs> we're just uh we're doing it we are doing it 10 of 16. This is taking so long. <laughs> it's taking forever. Maybe the goal of this mission is that you're supposed to be like exploring all these galaxies with your like newfound idea of what's going on in the universe, but not me. I'm just jumping around. Advanced ranks in the space exploration milestone. Exciting. Do we are we getting it? Okay, yes. 11 out of 16 on to the next like i feel like you can see where we are in that top left picture of the galaxy and it really doesn't look like we're that close to the galaxy's core but you know what we are just chucking along here we are moving and grooving will we find anything cool i'm not sure i'm genuinely not sure but maybe okay we do have 16 of 16 glyphs now but it does seem like we're gonna have to do the whole deal in order to finish this quest, so here we go. Visited 40 systems. I'm the navigator. Um, give me my thing, give me my thing. Okay, 13 out of 16, you guys. We have three more to do. We're so close. I do think that their um, intention for this mission was to like have you explore a little bit and um, use that, use this time to your advantage. Maybe find some cool planets, but that's just something I will not be doing. And it really takes its dear sweet time to give me the signal whenever I land here. All right, 14 of 16, we're off again. You know, maybe that map in the top right is actually not where I am. Maybe that just isn't what it is supposed to be. I don't know. It doesn't look like we've moved at all in it. Ooh, this is an outlaw system. This is the final jump. Everyone get excited. Are you on the edge of your seat right now? Because I am. I'm absolutely cannot wait to find out what happens next. Here we go. We're arriving. We're arriving in some rando solar system to get the final piece of the puzzle. Here we go. We've got it. Locate and enter the final portal. Portal ley line located. Okay, here we go. Where is it going to be? Final interface portal. That sounds so intense. Object of interest. Are you gonna try to sell me something? Examine cargo manifest. Got anything cool? I mean, not really. What are these? Descented bottles? I'll be. I'll buy these from you. All right, bye. Back to the mission. They were on sale. What was I supposed to do? Another object of interest. Another person trying to trade. Do you have anything cool? No. You have nothing cool. Hey, leave me alone. I'm trying to save the universe here. Or at least save myself. I'm actually not entirely sure what my goals are anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, y'all. Why don't we just do flips on the way in? Might as well, right? We're going this way. 400 units. Are you guys nervous? I'm nervous. I'm kind of scared. I see it. There it is. Here it is. The scary, spooky portal. Here's what we have to do. We gotta charge up the glyphs, I'm sure, as usual. Imagine we run out of something we need. I would be actually so angry if that happened, but so far so good. I think we have plenty of stuff, honestly. Okay, 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 last one. Okay, we're charged. We're charged. 16, 16, 16, Atlas protocol initiated. The portal shimmers as I look at it, never quite resting long enough for my eyes to process it full fully. I must focus. Activate portal. There she is. This is the final interface, you guys. The final piece of the puzzle. We're going in. We're gonna go speak with the Atlas. We're off. What do you think the Atlas is gonna say? We may have a choice to make here about what to do. All right, we're landing. We're here. What's gonna happen? Also, what the heck are those? They're just like weird floating rocks. I feel like I wanna go over there. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. What are you? Not me like mining while this countdown is happening. What a weird rock. Three, two, 
One. Oh my god, is the universe ending? Is it happening? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're here. Okay, here we go. We're speaking to the Atlas. Hello, Atlas. It's so, like, large and weird looking. The Atlas is silent. It watches me. Let's cry out. I cry out, but still the Atlas is silent. Cry out again! I cry out, thinking of my journey, thinking of all the things I've seen. Of Artemis, who just wanted to meet another traveler, who just wanted an end to their loneliness. I cry out thinking of Apollo, who gave me purpose when all purpose seemed lost. I cry out thinking of Noel, thinking of how they lived, what choices they made, the path that led them to this end. I cry out again, there is no return. If I cry out again, I must make my final choice. Okay, we're doing it. Artemis once said that when they first reach out to the heavens, they had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. I stand before the interface of the Atlas, before the center of all things. I stand before the death of existence. On the sixth cry, the Atlas answers. Traveler, I'm standing my ground. It speaks, I understand. At my command, the Atlas will initiate a reset. It has happened before and it seemed to stop nothing. It still only has 16 minutes left. I do not know what I will remember when it happens. When I woke up next to my ship, had I just performed a reset? Had someone else? Everything is coming to an end. Perhaps all that is left is to learn the final truth of the simulation, to know who the travelers truly are, and then a thousand galaxies will be gone, and a thousand more will appear. It will all be mine to explore. Ask if there's another way. I plead with the Atlas, but it does not listen. There is no other way. The Atlas requires my choice. While it lives, it can still create. The resets will not stop that. I do not know what to do or what it wants me to do. What should we do? I think we're gonna refuse the Atlas. I cannot do this. I cannot wreak such destruction. The Atlas allows me to leave. The offer remains open to me should I wish to take it. Okay, we're going back. We're back. I think. Okay, we've landed somewhere else. Okay, let me get to my ship really quick. God, why is my ship literally so far away? Clambering over mountains to get to it. No big. There she is. Blueberry dreamsicle. Okay, so it seems like we just explore the galaxy is the mission. Did we do it? Did we finish the, the mission? Visit your old friends. That's our mission right now. Okay, let's go visit our friends. Okay, I did refuse the Atlas, but I'm kind of thinking like, would it be cooler if we like went back and like did reset the galaxy though? Cause then we get to choose another galaxy to go to and I'm kind of here for that. You know what I mean? Traveler, you remembered us. Nada is grateful. For as long as Nada has, Nada will be grateful. We will remember you also. Okay. Enjoy reality while it lasts. That's the mission. All right, y'all. I think we've done it. I think we've finished the Artemis mission. We did not destroy the galaxy, but maybe someday we will, okay? It might happen. Just keep, just keep watching your back. And we'll find somewhere else to explore. It'll be exciting. It'll be great. It'll be great. I'm glad that we finally finished the story because now I feel like we've actually got a place in this universe, you know? Like we know what we're doing here now and we know why. Even though it's all a lie and it's all a simulation, but don't worry about that, it's fine. It's not even a problem. We're not worried about it. Cause you know what? We've got all the time in the world. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this little mini series of doing the story here. I've been having fun playing through it. So I hope you enjoyed this one guys. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.